So when we're looking on probability, what this basically this one says is the class contains five juniors and five seniors. If one member is selected to speak and another is selected to assist, what is the probability they are both juniors? So when we're looking into probability, um, basically, guys, we have a pool, right? And remember, we always wanted to be able to kind of determine like the selected over the total, kind of creating like a ratio. So if we look at this, how many total people do we have in this class? Anybody want to raise their hand? And da, da? How many total people are in this class right now? Ooh, 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 ooh. How many total people are in the class? There's five juniors and five seniors. Ten. Ten. So one thing you would obviously know is you could say there's ten people in the class, right? Even if you guys don't know if it's right or wrong, that is something you know, right? There's ten total people. Or you could say there's five juniors and five seniors. There's ten people in this class. Ten total, right? But we want to say, all right, if we're going to select somebody, that means I'm going to select somebody at random like I did with you, right? What is the possibility that you have to be a junior? Well, how many juniors do I have total? Five. So basically, my probability of me selecting one junior, well, there's only five out of a total of 10 students. All right? So I can only select five out of 10. Then I'm going to select another one. So I'm going to select you. What is the probability? that she is also junior. Well, I can't select her. I already selected her. So I'm going to select one more, correct? Yeah, she's out of the pool. I've already selected her. So now, let's just say this. So I take her out of the pool, right? How many total students do I have now? Nine. And then how many juniors left over do I have to choose from? Four. So you just multiply the probability of each one of those, five times four. 20 over 90, which reduces down to 2 ninths, which is answer H. Okay? Um,